Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to Before You Download. This is a series where we basically review tools and different um, projects and community things. Just anything that people have questions on in the cybersecurity world. Um, I will tell you pretty much most of them are open source. I won't download a tool that costs so much money that nobody else can use it because that's pointless for everybody. But let's go ahead and hop into it. This was one of our Discord users requests. So if you guys want to see more stuff like this, hop into the Discord, throw down some video requests, some live stream requests. And we do live stream in there at least once a week, usually on Saturdays. So let me know what you guys think. But before we get into it, let's go ahead and hit that like button, hit that sub button, guys. We're so close to 5K. That was my goal for the end of the year, and we're almost there. So let's go ahead and start talking about Seeker. So what is Seeker? Seeker is a OSINT tool, and you can see here, this is the page. Um, first things first, we'll go to the main page. It kind of gives you some information about it, and then why I use Seeker with my current tool. And then you can see they give you note taking and OSINT in one application. It can be used alongside other tools. Um, so this is true. You can use it alongside other tools. Um, you can see here's some features that are really nice. Um, no API keys required for all features. That's true. The other big thing I like about it is that it's Windows and Linux. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, so you can see it does start, store a database for your OSINT targets. Um, and there's some other things, but that's fine. The get are the uh, where was it? I just saw the themes and plugins. So we'll get into the themes. I haven't messed with the plugins yet, but we'll just dive in first off. So let's talk about the good and the bad. So firstly, let's start with the good. The good, the install was super easy, super easy. So you can see you go here, and then I just went to Linux stable version to download the binary, and then all I did was go to the Seeker Linux here. You can use the client. The client just allows you to run um, command line actions. Um, but you can see we use the actual SQL, um, or sorry, SQL Seeker, excuse me, client here, or not client, I'm sorry, the regular one. I keep saying client, but here, and you can tell by the size, the difference. Um, and as soon as you run it, literally you get off, or as soon as you download it, you get off, you change the permission so you can run it, you run it, and boom, this is it. It runs everything for you. You can see if I look at the terminal, it's running web server, so we're obviously doing things right. We hop into the web server, here it pulls it up, and now let's talk about the bad, okay? So bad, appearance. Let's start with the appearance. I think the um, interface is pretty rough right now. It's obviously a tool that's being in um, in development, so I, I wouldn't expect it to be perfect yet. I'm not hating on it. I'm just letting you know right now, I think it's a little rough. You can see here, it looks like there should be images here. Um, and I've restarted it multiple times to see if maybe I didn't load everything or whatever, but here is some of the, the stuff you need to look at. So you do, when you first get it, this will be closed. So you do need to click on these bottom four squares here to get the menu to pop up. Um, you click on the first one and you get this kind of like little interesting search. Okay, so we go to new and let's go ahead and start entering our information. So first target, we're gonna say John Doe, he's a male, he's Hispanic, he's thir 20 apparently, I meant to type 30. Birthday is in, you know, January, who cares? Address is 123 Elm Street, phone number, is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and then civil status um okay we'll say he's single three kids hobbies um sports whatever um sports and it okay email john where'd he go john doe at gmail.com. This is not a real person, by the way, if you guys are wondering. And then IPs for them. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Obviously, um, that's not the right format, but whatever. Occupation, whatever. We, we're not going to fill all this out. I'm just showing. And then you have notes. Okay. So then notes, um, we'll say, okay, maybe we have notes. This is a fictitious character right we hit save now you'll see this saves it in a database for us and this actually 
right there. You can see it. We can actually edit it. We can add accounts. We can do a lot here. Okay. So this is nice because now you can see it's, this is where it's implementing the note taking portion. We can actually start adding our targets in here. Um, so good with this is it is nice, easy format, searchable. Um, I do like it. The bad is a lot of OSINT isn't necessarily done specifically to people. Um, there is a lot of people involved. I'm saying um, there's a lot of OSINT done on companies as well. And so this doesn't really give you that platform um, because yes, I could use this. I could, um, instead of putting a name, I could put a company name or something like that. Um, I just don't think it has the functionality quite yet expanded, but I do like it. So they're, they're on the right track. I think they're doing great stuff. So this pretty self-explanatory, you can save people. Okay. We minimize that and it goes right here like that. You know, that's nice. So now we click on the next one. Okay. This is kind of the bread and butter. This is your guide and this is all of your, um, all of your sources. Now here's the good. Okay. There's a lot of really cool stuff in here. A lot of them, um, you've probably used a lot of these before. Um, some of them you may not have, and there's a lot of really good stuff. The bad. Okay. The bad is let's say for instance, people finder. These are just shortcuts. Okay. So they are shortcuts to the actual, um, sites. Okay. Why is that bad? It's not that it's bad. It's that it's nice. That these are all in one place, but they built an entire tool specifically to give you shortcuts. Um, I don't love that. The only reason I say I don't love it is because yes, it's nice, but do I need to start this tool up every single time? If I'm trying to go to people finder, probably not. I probably have a playbook sitting there that, um, that I'm using that, I use it all the time that I'm actually going to um, reach out and use that instead. I probably have these all saved. Um, my notes on my Patreon has a lot of OSINT resources and not all of these are on there. That's for sure because it would be kind of a wasted list, right? I don't need 15 different email lookups, but a couple are good, you know? Um, and a lot of these you have to pay and stuff like that once you get past the initial site. So. Some of this is really good resources, um, but again, these are all shortcuts. Um, I've seen, especially paid services, um, to name a few, I've seen Okta use the same format where Okta just built a bunch of shortcuts that log you in automatically, and it looks like this. It's a little bit better presentation. and So I've seen this done better. It's just not, um, this is free, right? It's open source and it's free. So I'm not hating on it. It's a cool idea but it's just shortcuts, right? You could just have a favorites menu saved in your browser that has all of these on there and it's the same thing. Um, so let's go to the next one. The next one is who is. So this is literally just a who is lookup. Again, cool, cool idea. I like it. Um, but if I'm going to do a who is lookup, I don't need to pull up a separate tool. I can just do a who is lookup. I can just do that on the internet or whatever. I don't need to, um, there's, I mean, I can do a command line. I don't need this feature. So it's cool. I just don't think it's necessary, right? Um, it's, it's a nice all in one location, but I think you're missing some key features. Um, for one, like I said, none of this allows actual note taking. So, um, blockchain Explorer, I don't know if this is a feature coming later. I have yet to get this to load. So I don't know what this actually is going to show once it's done. Um, but I'm excited to see where that goes. So, just, and then cert.sh, pretty easy, right? You just put in cert certificate and this will search certificates. Again, cool, not necessary for me to open a new tool because these are just web links, right? So I can just go to cert.sh and do this myself. I don't need to have a tool do it for me. So while I think this, and then these are settings, so you can see I can change the, the uh, actual theme, um, what the IP is, the port, all that stuff. Um, so the good, let's start with that. The good is quick and easy. Now quick and easy, a lot of resources here, a lot of shortcuts and allows you a well, a good database, easy database to save all of your targets. Okay. That's about all good I can say for it. Um, and I hate to say that because I'm not shitting on somebody's project. This is 
this project has a lot of legs and it can go very far if they do it correctly. Um, where I, the bad, okay. Number one, their note taking, as they call it, um, is very limited. All I can do is save targets and put little notes in there. I would like to see an expansive note taking, um, maybe have like each one of these tabs is a target, not a person. And you can have categories for them. Um, as far as like the name and stuff like that, you can insert those categories, take them out. You can have businesses, templates, things like that. There's all kinds of things you can do with the note taking. I think this has potential. I don't think it's there yet. Um, so that's just my opinion. This is not fact. It's my opinion. Um, now the, the rest of the bad. So, I think that these are just favorites on a on a browser. So you just literally take these, save them under your under a folder in favorites and you have the exact same thing as built here. So I'm not hating on it. I'm just giving you the facts that I don't think it's up to any sort of standard that's necessary to make me say I need to download this tool and use it every day. I don't need to. I don't have a desire to. Um and then like I said, with the blockchain, I think that it could be good. I it, it doesn't run, so I don't have any opinion on that. And then as far as the who is and the cert, again, those are just basically bookmarks. I don't need a bookmark or a favorite. I can go ahead and do those myself. I don't need a tool that does it. So all in all, before you download, I wouldn't download this. Now, would I download it to see how it, it runs and see if it's for me? Sure. I think it's definitely something to try and have fun. It's small, lightweight, easy. You're not going to take up a bunch of bandwidth or uh, memory or anything to do this yourself. But would I download it and run this as my everyday OSINT tool? Probably not. Probably not. Um, it's not going to save me time. It's not going to save me space. It's not going to save me any effort. Um, in fact, it might actually slow me down a little bit because I will have to go in here and fill out my um, notes in the format that they want. Whereas... I can actually just use a note taking app and fill out my notes that way. And it's much, much easier. Um, so that's it. That's the good and the bad. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like seeker and I have not messed with the plugins. So that's an ex just want to put that out there. There are plugins and there are different ways to interact with the command line. Those may have far vast more capabilities. Um, and if they do, please let me know in the comments. I'll try them out more. But diving into this at the beginning level, I don't see the worth here for me. Um, I can see it for somebody that really doesn't know OSINT at all getting started. This is a great tool. I really can see the value in that. I can't see it for an advanced level OSINT person because of the fact that you're just giving them the shortcuts that they probably already have. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that comment button. Tell me everything you think about this because I'm genuinely curious how you guys feel about this and if it's something you guys would use or if it's something that you guys kind of say, hey, no, that's not for me either. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any other video requests, throw them in the Discord and we will go ahead and try and cover them. Thanks, guys.